Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the Matthew Street channel. I am your host, Matthew Street. As always, I appreciate you being here. And folks, I'm pretty happy because I've got the clap. Yeah, I do. And I think you should catch the clap too. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should clarify a little bit, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go there. Don't Come on, you people. I'm talking the clap. I've got the clap. Yes, that's the name of the band, folks. The clap. And their little EP here is called Catch the Clap. So, and you can see the picture. What they mean is the clap. Okay. Get the clap. Catch the clap. The clap. Okay. Come on. Where are you going? Where's your mind going? Anyway, folks, folks, it's kind of funny to think all the bands over the course of history through the, you know, when rock and roll began in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, small little bands around the entire country, even the world for that matter, but around our country in the USA for sure, in different parts, different states, little rock and roll bands, power pop bands, new wave bands, other genres of music that were trying. They were out there, they were local heroes, struggling to make it, trying to get that, you know, get the brass ring and get signed by a label so they could put out a full album or have someone produce them in a professional studio. But unfortunately, folks, it doesn't happen for everybody like that. And you get little bands like this, The Clap, okay? They're from Teaneck, New Jersey. So you New Jersey area people out there, you may have, if you've been around long enough, maybe you've heard of The Clap. Because this EP came out in 1981. Wow, Four, 42 years ago. It's on a label called Clean Cut. That's K-L-E-E-N-K-U-T. Clean Cut. So I'm sure it's a small little local label out of the Teaneck, New Jersey area, who maybe a small little studio that these guys put their money together. They went in, they recorded this little five-track EP, hoping maybe they could sell it at shows or perhaps get it in the hands of maybe a record producer or a label president and maybe sign them. But I looked everywhere online, folks, and I could not find anything, any more information about the clap other than I could dig up from talking to my friend, Alan C. Records, who passed this along to me. Alan's from New Jersey, and he had an extra copy of this EP, and we exchanged VCLT on occasion, so he gave this to me. And I was so happy he did, because this is a cool little collectible. This is one of those rare little slices of rock and roll, new wave pop, that you're just not going to get anywhere anymore. It's, you know, lost through the mist of time. So to me, this is a rare little rock and roll collectible. Now, let me tell you a little bit about it before I get into the tracks and show you more, the inside and outside of this thing. The clap is kind of a quirky, new wave, garage pop uh, band with like, you know, early 80s stylings, that goofy, funny lyrics, you know, silly lyrics. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the band members here. You got Bill Maxwell on bass guitar. You have Dan Fesman on keyboards, Steve Yagelwell on drums, and Joel Barkow on guitar. Uh, you know, so maybe some of you people in the New Jersey area have heard of some of these guys or know of them or whatever. But let me show you the back here. Picture the guys in the back of an old station wagon. <laughs> There's the track listing. And there's the details of it. Let me give you a peek at the vinyl. Again, a five-track EP. The first side is called Side, not one, Side 17. <laughs> side 17 has two tracks on clean cut. And Side 18, it's called, has three tracks. The middle track being very short, like just a little over a minute long. But, so there's the label for you to see. Rare piece of early, early 80s pop, folks. A slice of history here with the clap. And you can see they put a lot into the artwork. <laughs> My grandson or granddaughter could have drawn that for them, I think. But it's kind of, you know, it's just a, a cool little slice of that era of pop and rock and roll history. Now, side 17, the first track is called Disco Jesus. It kind of has all the disco cliché. You can tell it's tongue-in-cheek and trying to be silly. Uh, all the disco clichés are here with that beat, you know, the disco beat, boom, boom, boom. 
the sound effects, you know, those crazy sound effects from a synthesizer in the disco era. But it's got a sense of humor to it. It's a kind of a new wave-ish song, and I thought it was kind of cool. It's an okay track. The second one on side 17, or the first side, is called Mon Cheri. It's a new wave mixed with 50s rock and roll vibe. Um, kind of power popish, but more of that 50s rock beat, uh, kind of danceable. It's got a female vocalist who does some of the background sound effects and noises and whatnot. But it's a cool little track, and I enjoyed listening to it. Now you flip it over, that's the two songs on the first side. Uh, there must be about six minutes of space available on a 45 like this where they're trying to squeeze in several songs because the first side is a little over six minutes long, three minutes per track. And then when you flip it over to the second side, or side 18 as they call it, there's three tracks. Two of them are a little over two minutes long, and then you have the middle track, which is like a little over a minute. So you get about six minutes per side. Now on side 18, or the second side, you, it kicks off of the kink song, All Day and All the Night. And it's a very solid cover of the song. Uh, it's kind of pop mixed with new wave. It's got that early 80s vibe to it with some synthesizer. You know, that type of thing. Pretty good. The sec second track is called uh, Bour Bourgeois or Bourge Bourgeoisie or something like that. I, I can't pronounce it. It's a fast-paced early 80s pop song. Very short, very fast-paced. It goes by quick. And then the final track on this EP is called Troubled Hearts, Troubled Minds. This is probably my favorite on the EP. It's a mid-tempo power pop song that then picks up towards the middle of the song, goes back to that mid-tempo again, and then picks up again at the end. So it kind of goes back and forth. And it's a good little track. I enjoyed it. The whole EP is, is, uh, is good. It's like one of those things that's unremarkable, you know what I mean? It's not something like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing I ever heard. It's a good little solid EP, definitely from its era, from its time, early 80s, but it's a solid little pop, new wave EP from a group that's been lost through the mist of time. The clap is just, you know, it's just just gone. I mean, I, I can't find anything on these guys Uh it, it, it's somewhat lo-fi recorded, but not in a bad way. You can tell these guys went into this studio, clean-cut records. I don't know where they were, you know, out of, like I said, Teaneck, New Jersey. So they did the best they could on this home recording. It's, it's lo-fi, but it sounds pretty good. It's of its time. Uh, as I said, unremarkable, but good. Early 80s pop rock. Uh, but it's a good little EP, especially, especially for collectible purposes. I love having stuff like this because this is stuff that once it's gone and lost through the mist of time, you'll never see this kind of stuff again. You know, it's just gone. So thanks to Alan C. Records for turning me on to this EP. Uh, folks, you can go look for it. I'm sure maybe it's on eBay or you know Discogs or one of those things. Or, hey, if you're buddies with Alan C. Records, you can reach out to him. Maybe he can find you a copy of it down in New Jersey somewhere. All right, folks, that's it. Just a little slice of rock and pop history here from New Jersey. The Clap. Catch the Clap. Five-track EP. That's it, folks. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this little rock and roll history lesson. Bye-bye. <laughs>